<laughs> so for those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that I was going through a bit of a down period with my photography. I had had several unsuccessful trips, photographically speaking, and it had really started to get to me, to the point where I wasn't keen on uploading the last video I'd made. But I'm glad I did because I got an overwhelming response from you all. It turns out I'm not the only person to have had one of these frustrating spells. You were all incredibly supportive, offering your own stories of ups and downs as well as advice on how I could turn my luck around. Intriguingly, there seemed to be a common suggestion amongst all of this advice. Go back to your local patch. So that's exactly what I did. Last week, I decided to go down to my local park with my two housemates, Ben and Yusuf, I like it. to make the most of Golden Hour. Solid plan. Sounds, sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. The sun was out for what seemed like the first time this year and things were already feeling a little optimistic. Come resistant tip one, always close the bag. <laughs> so as everyone set up to do their own thing, I walked onto the far side of the lake where the light looked most enticing and there seemed plenty to photograph that I could get close to. I think one of the reasons I was down was I wasn't pushing my creative boundaries. Um, they were sort of the shots I'd taken before. Now, I don't know, it's just a theory. There seems to be something about this high contrast light that gets me quite excited. Maybe it's just the light, maybe it's not the fact that I need to take something completely new. Maybe it's just something, some sort of craving for a more interesting, more abstract image. I guess everyone will have their own styles as well. And I think when you've been taking photos that aren't personally what you're happy with in terms of your style or your ambitions, that's what gets you down. And right now, they may not be the rarest animals, it may not be the most beautiful setting. It's really getting me quite excited and, and enjoying, enjoying being out again. Uh, I guess Yusuf's still off exploring. Um, but Ben joined me and reminded me of the technique I used uh, last year to get nice water level, water level shots in a similar location to this. However, I was quite happy. Just sat here, taking photos, chilling. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Ben suggested that, or reminded me of that, now I kind of want to. It's a little bit risky. Are you doing it? Oh, damn it, that means I have to do it. <laughs> Shut up! I was slowly starting to feel my previous frustrations slip away. I was getting back into familiar rhythms with subjects I know well and practicing skills I hadn't used in quite some time. But before we carry on with the video, I'd just like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, London Camera Exchange. They have 29 branches across England with expert staff and brilliant customer service. So whatever interest you might have in cameras, binoculars, telescopes, or their associated accessories, London Camera Exchange holds a huge variety of new and used equipment and may just have the bargain you're looking for. Now, back to the video. As I was saying, although I hadn't quite taken the kind of shot I was aiming for that day, I was finding a seemingly simple day surprisingly rewarding. I'd been to this place and photographed its wildlife many times before, though in my chase for the new or the different, I'd begun to forget what my local patch can offer. It's a place that can teach you skills and disciplines for further down the road, and the species you find in them may well be common, but as I've always said, common doesn't necessarily mean boring. 
Ducks are always active and entertaining, and you could say the same about pigeons. Then there's swans and geese, which are actually surprisingly large and captivating when you take the time to really look at them. All in all, I felt like the day had been spent rediscovering my local patch, and to be honest, that was more than enough for me. We decided to finish the day on the other side of the lake where some Canada geese were settling down for the night in some quite frankly beautiful light. But just as we packed up and we were on our way out, something caught my eye. Hey, take your camera. Take your camera. It turns out if you don't go to your local patch and see what some might call the boring wildlife, then you're never giving them a chance to show you something truly incredible. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Oh, hello. Hello. Nope. Okay. <laughs>